Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to price a risky zero coupon bond assuming zero recovery rate with a reduced form model for credit risk. First, we consider a risk-free zero coupon bond. The buyer of the bond will receive the face value 100 here at the maturity of the bond. And he will pay at t equals zero a price which is below the face value equal to the face value times the discount factor 1 divided by 1 plus r power t by non-arbitrage assumption. Capital R is a risk-free interest rate, there is no payment of coupon here. With continuous compounding, the price of the zero coupon has the following expression, the discount factor is equal to the exponential of minus r times t. Now we consider a risky zero coupon bond. We assume zero recovery rate. There is a payment of the principal at maturity t if there is no default before. In case of default before the maturity of the bond, we assume that there is zero recovery rate, so the bondholder will not recover any part of his initial investment. We model the default risk with a constant default intensity model. The probability that there is no default before t, the survival probability is equal to exponential of minus lambda times t. Lambda is the default intensity of the issuer of the bond, tau is the times of default. If there is a default before t, the bondholder will not recover any part of the principal of the bond. The probability that there is a default before t is 1 minus the exponential of minus lambda times t. With no arbitrage assumption, the price of the bond at t equals 0 is the discounted expectation of the final payoff, which is equal to 100 if there is no default before t. We obtain this expression with a continuous compounding. It is equal to 100 times the exponential of minus r times t times the survival probability, which simplifies as following using the expression of the survival probability. We easily see that the price of the risky zero coupon bond is equal to the price of the risk free zero coupon bond times the survival probability. The zero coupon bond has a lower price compared to the risk free bond. If an investor buys the bond, keeps it until its expiry, and the issuer of the bond doesn't default, the investor could expect a higher return compared to an investment in the risk free bond with a positive carry to compensate for the default risk of the bond. The survival probability can be estimated as the ratio between the prices of the risky and the risk-free zero coupon bonds. And we get an estimation of the default intensity from market prices. We will now see the relationship between the default intensity and the z-spread of the bond in this framework. The z-spread is the spread that needs to be added to the risk-free rate to obtain the price of the risky bond. It is the additional compensation asked by investors for taking that risk. With capital Z, the z-spread of the risky zero coupon bond, we have the price of the bond equal to 100 divided by 1 plus capital R plus capital Z power T. With continuous compounding, it is equal to 100 times the exponential of minus R plus Z times T. R plus Z is the bond yield. And we easily see that in this framework, when comparing the price of the risky zero coupon bond using the default intensity and using the Z spread, that the Z spread is equal to the default intensity. But be careful, this is only true if we assume zero recovery rate. We will come back to this in another video. Thank you for your time.